Hello friends, welcome back. So we are meeting again uh, for this uh, MCQ multiple choice question series for botany paper second of uh, SPPU, FYBC botany, plant morphology and anatomy. And today we are going to discuss one more topic, interesting topic after discussing a topic on flower. Let me share it. Yeah, it will take few seconds, just a minute. Yeah, thank you. Okay, so today's topic of our discussion is multiple choice questions on fruit. So you can see uh, fruits here. Uh, botanically, fruit can be defined. You have studied it. Botanically, it can be defined as a ripened ovary, ripened and matured ovary of the flower. So we'll begin with the first question. So see here. Which of the following is or are correct in angiosperms after fertilization? What happens? Ovules develop into seeds. Ovary develops into fruit. Uh, both of this happens. None of this. So uh, we know it very well in angiosperms, uh, which consist of uh, ovules inside the ovary. So after fertilization, ovary develops into fruit and ovules develop into seeds. And that is the reason why they are called as angiosperms. Sperma means seeds in case. Seeds in fruit case after fertilization. The plants in which seeds are present in the fruit after fertilization or the plants in which ovules are present in ovary before fertilization are called as angiosperms. So here answer will be both C. And just now we studied that uh, ovary develops into fruit. Fruit can be defined botanically as the matured ovary and ripen ovary, matured and ripen ovary. So C is the answer here. Next one. Which of the following is or are the biological functions of fruit? So you can see protection of seed, dispersal of seeds. Both of these are the functions of fruit. So it, it is one of the reason for the evolutionary success of, success of this uh, group of plants called angiosperms. So C is the correct answer here. Next one, the formation of fruit. Without normal fertilization, many peop uh, people uh, commit mistake in saying that the formation of fruit without fertilization, but that is not correct. The formation of fruit without normal fertilization of ovule is called as fruit. So that is the question. Ampimixis, apomixis, parthenocarpi, none of this. So this is the process of formation of fruit without normal fertilization. Normal fertilization of male and female gamete, which is called as ampimixis. Ampimixis means normal fertilization of male and female gamete. Apomixis is a type of asexual method of reproduction. Whereas the formation of fruit without normal fertilization uh, that, re, uh, that uh, results in formation of seedless fruit, this process is called as parthenocarpy. So here the answer is option C. When the fruit is formed from a single ovary of a single flower without involvement of any other parts of flower, outside the ovary, except ovary, no other part is involved. Just now we have seen that after fertilization, ovary is converted into fruit. So when the ovary soul, solely it gives rise to fruit, there is no involvement of other parts of the flower. And when uh, the fruit develops from a single ovary, which is present in a single flower, that is the case, then in that case, the fruit is called as what type of fruit it is. So see here, uh, options are given, uh, true fruit or eucarp false fruit or pseudocarp, aggregate and multiple fruit. So we, we have studied that there are mainly three types of fruits, simple fruit, aggregate fruit, and multiple fruit. So here, the answer here is such a fruits are called as true fruit. That is the fruit uh, which is formed from a single ovary of a single flower without involvement of any other parts of flower. So if there is involvement of any other part like uh, your thalamus, that is the stalk of flower, or the peduncle that is the stock of inflorescence or anything else. For example, if calyx remains attached to the fruit, uh, that such a calyx is called as persistent calyx. If that calyx is present along with the fruit, uh, then that, that fruit is also called as false fruit. So here aggregate fruits are not developed from single, uh, sorry, aggregate fruits are developed from single flowers, but multiple fruits are not developed from single flowers. They are developed from the single inflorescence. So these fruits are false fruit. Whereas aggregate fruits, they are not formed from a single ovary of a single flower, but they are formed 
from many ovaries which are present in a single flower that will uh, that will discuss later but at this stage you just uh, remember here that multiple fruits and aggregate fruits are not uh, true fruits they are false fruits whereas uh, simple fruits are true fruits but all simple fruits are not true fruits because those fruits which develop those simple fruits which develop from inferior ovary because we studied in the last lecture that in case of inferior ovary the uh, the thalamus grows further and the wall of thalamus fuses with the wall of ovary so during fruit formation what happens the ovary gets converted into the fruit whereas this thalamus tissue is also attached to that uh, fruit tissue so there is involvement of other part of the flower called as thalamus so that forms that gives rise to false fruit so those flowers which are having inferior ovary such a flowers are called as epigynous flowers they are false fruits so if the fruits are simple they will form true fruit but if the simple fruits are being derived from inferior ovary then those fruits will be those fruits would be called as false fruit so all aggregate fruits are false fruits all multiple fruits are false fruit uh, false fruit because multiple fruits are developing from not a single flower but they are developing from many flowers of the single inflorescence aggregate fruits are false because they are not developing from a single ovary they are developing from more than one ovary so aggregate fruits are false fruit multiple fruits are false fruits whereas simple fruits which develop from inferior ovary are also false fruit simple fruits developing from superior ovary are true fruit are, are you getting so these three options are wrong here the correct option is true fruit you got when a single fruit develops from a single ovary of a single flower it is called as what when a single fruit develops from a single ovary of single flower it is called as you have studied there are three types of fruit simple fruit aggregate fruit multiple fruit so here when a single fruit develops from a single ovary single ovary means when there will be the case of single ovary in a single flower if the flower consists of only one carpel gynoecium is made up of a single carpel uh, it will have stigma style and ovary that is single ovary so that condition is called as simple pistil simple gynoecium monocarpillary condition in which only one carpel is present or there may be case in which more than one carpels are present such as bicarpillary tricarpillary or polycarpillary but if all these carpels are fused together united together giving rise to a single ovary below are you getting so this condition is called as polycarpillary syncarpus that means if two carpels are there and they are fused it is called as bicarpillary syncarpus similarly tricarpillary syncarpus so like that uh, if the gynoecium is polycarpillary syncarpus in that case also it will form a single ovary in single flower so in a single flower the ovary will be single if the gynoecium is monocarpillary or if the gynoecium is polycarpillary syncarpus so when that is the situation and when a single fruit develops from a single ovary of single flower then it is called as simple fruit are you get so here the answer is a simple fruit what are aggregate fruit when the many fruits develop from many ovaries of a single flower it is called as aggregate fruit how you see uh, if the flower consists of gynoecium which is polycarpillary apocarpus apocarpus means if there are two carpels three carpels or more than three carpels and all carpels are free from each other so that there are as the number of ovaries as the number of carpels that means the number of carpels are equivalent to the number of ovaries so there will be more than one ovary there will be more many ovaries in a single flower so when the fruit develops from many ovaries of a single flower and that condition is called as polycarpillary apocarpus then the fruit is called as aggregate fruit whereas when the fruit develops not from a single flower but it develops from all the flowers many flowers group of flowers in a single inflorescence then in that case the fruit is called as multiple fruit or composite fruit so here option is uh, option a that is the correct answer simple fruit when a single fruit develops from a single ovary of single flower okay the fruits developing from which of the following flowers are false fruit they are not true fruits okay see options of hypogynous perigynous epigynous so just now i told that epigynous flowers which have inferior ovary if the fruits are developing from the flowers 
which contain gynoecium which is having inferior ovary then such a fruits are called as false fruit are you getting so here option is c which of the following are not false fruits that means they are true fruits so you can see here options are given okay so you have to try to understand because there are many examples of fruits given in the book and uh, you have to uh, see that now why apple and pear here see here. apple and pear are they are not true fruits they are false fruit why apple and pears are called as false fruit because in formation of apple and pear there is involvement of thalamus so these are inferior in case of brinjal and phycelis these are also false fruit because here there is a persistent calyx called as uh, calyx remains attached to the fruit so due to that persistent calyx the fruits are called as false fruit here in case of uh, option c pineapple jackfruit you know pineapple and jackfruit are the examples of uh, your uh, sorosis type of fruit multiple type of fruit or composite type of fruit whereas strawberry is an example of aggregate type of fruit another example you have you must have studied custard apple that is called as aggregate fruit or eatery of berries strawberry is eatery of um, uh, your akin akin so that is also uh, as it is aggregate type of fruit or as these are uh, multiple type of fruits these are false fruits so uh, a b and c con contain the options which are having uh, false fruits so which are not false fruits mango drop type of fruit lemon and oranges hesperidium type of fruits uh, these are simple fruits and they are developed from superior ovary not inferior ovary and uh, there is no other uh, part other than uh, uh, your ovary that is involved in formation of these fruits so these fruits are called as true fruits they are not false fruits so answer here is option d the legume fruit develops from the ovary with what type of placentation okay uh, you have studied legume fruit pea beans pulses they uh, develop from monocarpillary superior ovary which is unilocular it consists of a single carpel that is folded uh, inwards and the margins are fused and at this margin there is placenta so there is location of ovules this is called as ventral suture whereas this midrib region is called as dorsal region and ovules are present at the margin and this type of placentation is called as marginal placentation from which this characteristic fruit of leguminosae family develops called as legume so here the answer is option a okay which of the following are simple dry dehiscent fruits developing from polycarpillary superior ovary so you have studied uh, simple fruits are of two types dehiscent fruits and indehiscent fruits all dehiscent fruits are dry fruits there there are no dehiscent fruits which are fleshy indehiscent fruits may be dry fruits as well as fleshy fruits but all dehiscent fruits dehiscent means uh, which dehisces automatically which splits open automatically at maturity to release their seeds for their dispersal and if the fruits are uh, not being uh, uh, splitted Uh, automatically it is not if if it is not broken automatically at maturity to release the seed seeds then the fruit is called as indehiscent fruit and what are dry fruits if the fruit wall is dry at maturity then the fruit uh, the fruit is called as dry fruit and that means that uh, fruit wall is called as the pericarp the pericarp is dry at maturity pericarp is the wall of fruit the fruit consists of two parts that is the inner part which consists of seeds and the seeds are covered by pericarp and this pericarp is differentiated into uh, different regions like epicarp mesocarp endocarp isn't it so when that pericarp is dry at maturity usually fruits are fleshy and they remain fleshy uh, if they remain fleshy even at uh, maturity though these fruits are called as fleshy fruits but if the pericarp becomes dry at maturity such fruits are called as dry fruits so we are discussing about dehiscent fruits simple dry dehiscent type of fruits which develop from polycarpillary superior ovary so as per your syllabus you have to discuss uh, three these three fruits legume follicle and capsule which are dehiscent type of fruits simple fruits and as i told all dehiscent fruits are dry so these are simple dry dehiscent fruits and now of these the first fruit that is legume develops from monocarpillary superior ovary whereas follicle also develops from monocarpillary superior ovary but capsule develops from polycarpillary superior ovary so here answer is capsule now as these are similar legume and follicle they are developing from monocarpillary superior ovary what, what is the difference then on the basis of uh, what type of uh, dehiscence they are having they can be differentiated 
Legumes are the fruit which dehisces along both the sutures, ventral sutures as well as dorsal sutures. At uh, maturity, they can be broken automatically to release their seeds uh, by splitting either at the uh, ventral suture or dorsal suture. Whereas the follicles are the fruits which dehisces along only one suture and it is usually ventral suture. So legume dehisces along both the sutures, ventral suture and dorsal suture, whereas follicles dehisce along only ventral suture. So that is the difference between legume and follicle. Otherwise, they both are developing from monocarpillary superior ovary, whereas capsules are the fruits which are developing from polycarpillary syncarpus superior ovary. Now see here, why these fruits are called as simple fruits? Because legume and follicle, they are, they are having monocarpillary ovary. So there is only one ovary, that is the reason why they are called a simple fruit. Whereas here, there, the number of carpels are many, polycarpillary, but condition is polycarpillary syncarpus. So all carpels are fused together forming, giving rise to a single ovary below. So capsules are also then called as simple fruits. And they are dry because their uh, pericarp is dry at maturity and they are called as dehiscent fruit because they split open automatically to release their uh, seeds for dispersal. So here, uh, what we are discussing, uh, the, these fruits develop from polycarpillary superior ovary, and the answer is uh, your capsule C. So correct answer is option C. Okay, all, all the simple dry descent, just now we have seen, all the simple dry descent polycarpillary syncarpus fruits are called as, okay. Now, see here, all those fruits which are simple dry descent and they are polycarpillary syncarpus, they are called as capsules. They are known as capsules. These are developing from monocarpillary superior, legume and follicle. Capsules are developing from polycarpillary syncarpus and all such fruits are called as capsule. Hesperidium is other type of fruit. So here option is C, that is the correct answer. All the simple dry indehiscent, now we are talking about indehiscent fruit. Previously it was dehiscent. Indehiscent simple fruits are of two types, dehiscent and indehiscent. Dehiscent we discussed, legume, follicle and capsule. Now we are going to discuss about indehiscent fruits, which are of two types, dry indehiscent and fleshy indehiscent. So here, simple dry indehiscent. And all these fruits are one seeded, having a single seed. Such a fruits are called as what? Okay, all simple dry indehiscent fruits are called as achenial fruits, achenial fruits. And there are different type of fruits, uh, which are achenial fruits like caryopsis, then your akin, uh, then cypsula, and nut, these four types of fruits, as per your syllabus, you have to study simple, dry, indehiscent, single seeded fruits. And these fruits are called as achenial fruits. So C is the correct answer. So here, simple matching type question, again, legume, follicle, capsule. Uh, just now we discussed, so legume dehysis along both the sutures, follicle dehysis along only one suture, and that is ventral suture, and capsule dehysis by means of walls. Uh, that is their pericarp is broken, uh, into pieces and uh, that pieces may be at uh, their locules or at the backside on dorsal suture. Uh, so you can match easily. One, two, three. A is the correct option here. Okay. Okay, ladies finger, cotton, datura, castor, opium, poppy, all these fruits are the examples of capsule, capsule fruits. Okay. So C is the Right answer, ladies finger, cotton, datura, castor, opium, poppy, these are capsules. That is simple, dry, dehiscent uh, type of fruits. Okay, in which of the following one seeded fruit? That is indehiscent fruit. The pericarp, that is the wall of fruit, is fused with the wall of seed. Now I told you there are four different indehiscent dry fruits. That is caryopsis, akin, sipsella, and nut. Now what happens here, caryopsis and akin, they develop from monocarpillary superior ovary, whereas sipsella develops from bicarpillary, uh, bicarpillary syncarpus inferior ovary, whereas nut develops from polycarpillary syncarpus superior ovary. I will tell again, caryopsis and akin, they develop from monocarpillary superior ovary, sipsella develops from bicarpillary inferior ovary, and nut develops from polycarpillary syncarpus ovary. So out of these four fruits, which are indehiscent, one seeded fruits, called as achenial fruits, here sipsilla, which develops from bicarpillary inferior ovary, it is developing from inferior ovary, so this is false fruit. 
and all the rest, uh, rest of these three are true fruits. So that is one point. So here, what is asked? The pericarp, that is the wall of fruit is fused with the seed coat, wall of seed. So this is the case in case of caryopsis. Uh, examples are cereals. Your uh, cereals like wheat, rice, jowar, bajra. You can see in those fruits, the, uh, we cannot distinguish between the fruit and seed. Fruits are single seeded, fruit consists of a single seed, but the wall of seed is fused with the wall of uh, fruit in such a way that it appears as one and the same thing. And we call such fruits as grains. So wall of fruit that is called as pericarp, it is fused with the wall of seed or seed coat in case of caryopsis. Whereas in case of akins, cypsella and nut, uh, the pericarp is, it is not fused, it is free from the seed coat. In case of caryopsis, it is fused. In case of uh, akin and cypsella, the wall of pericarp, the wall of fruit that is pericarp is free, free from seed coat. And in case of nut, uh, you, you have studied. In case of nut, the, it is free, of course, and the pericarp is very hard, woody structure in case of nut fruit. Okay, so here the option is A, caryopsis, cereals, wheat, rice, jowar, bajra, in which the pericarp is fused with the seed coat. So A is the option, correct option. Okay, again, matching type question. So these truths are given. As I told you, caryopsis and akin develop from monocarpular superior ovary, uh, whereas cypsella, which is a false fruit, it develops from bicarpillary inferior ovary. As it is developing from inferior ovary, it is called as false fruit. It is not true fruit. Whereas nut is a fruit, uh, which is developing from polycarpillary uh, superior ovary. So you can easily match. So here option B is the right answer. Okay, again, matching type question. So these fruits and their examples have been given. Caryopsis, cereals are the example. Wheat, rice, jowar, bajra. Uh, then uh, your akin example is mirabilis plant, four o'clock plant. Uh, and then cypsula, which are uh, false fruit, example, members of family, compositi or asteraceae, sunflower, triadex are the example, cypsula. And nut examples are your, flower, your fruits like lychee fruit, then your cashew nut, that is also example of nut. Whereas uh, betel nut and walnuts, they are not nut, they are a droop, droop type of fruit. Your nut is, example is lychee and uh, your cashew nut. Cashew nut is also called as false fruit. Though it is developing from superior ovary, it is called as uh, false fruit because in case of cashew nut, what we are getting from the market and what we are eating directly, uh, cashew nut, that, that is the cotyledons. But uh, the fruit is formed from uh, the fleshy peduncle also. In case of uh, cashew nut, the fleshy peduncle is also attached to the fruit. So the part other than ovary is involved. So cashew nut is also called as false fruit. So nut example can, they can also give the example of cashew nut as the nut. Whereas betel nut and uh, walnut, these are uh, droop, droop type of fruits. So here you can match and you can then get answer. Option B is the correct, the correct matching. Which of the following fruits are commonly called as stone fruits? Okay, now we are talking about the fleshy fruits. Uh, in days and, as I told you, in days and fruits are of two types, uh, dry fruits, and fleshy fruits. In dry fruits, we discussed uh, akinal fruits like uh, caryopsis, akin, cypsella, and nut. And in fleshy fruits, uh, as per your syllabus, you have to study what? Droop type of fruit, berry, pipo, and uh, your hesperidium. So these are fleshy fruits. Now in those fleshy fruits, uh, question is, which of the following fruits are commonly called as stone fruits? Okay, droop, berry, pipo, and and hesperidium. So you have studied, droop are single seeded fruits, berry are multi seeded fruits, uh, and these are pipo. Uh, pipo is again false fruit, it is developing from inferior ovary. So pipo fruits are false fruit. Examples are your cucurbita, then cucumber, whereas hesperidium, it is developing from polycarpillary syncarpus uh, ovary with uh, uh, exile placentation. And examples are lemon, oranges. Droop example, Mango, single seeded fruit, or your bear, jujubus, or your coconut, these are droop type of fruits. Whereas in case of berry, which is multi seeded fleshy fruit, uh, examples are your tomato, then uh, gawa, uh, like that. Uh, so you can see here, in case of droop, the pericarp can be easily distinguished into outer layer called epicarp, then uh, that is a skin like structure, then mesocarp, which is 
somewhat uh, juicy uh, fleshy structure and the inner endocarp which is very hard and stone like structure and due to that hard stone like structure of uh, endocarp these fruits drupe are called as stone fruits okay so here answer is a a is the answer now in which of the following fruits except seeds no other hard part is present so we have seen in case of drupe the hard part is called as endocarp but in case of uh, which of these there is no other hard part except seeds so uh, everything is fleshy juicy and that is berry multi seeded fruit they consist of except seeds no other hard part so d berry is the right answer here which of the following fruits develop from polycarpillary syncarpus superior ovary with axial placentation just now we discussed so that fruit is called as that fruit is called as hesperidium hesperidium lemon and oranges d is the option okay again matching type questions drupe berry pepo hesperidium these are fleshy fleshy you can see a simple fleshy indesian type of fruits and you have to match drupe mango there are many examples bear coconut berry lemon uh, sorry berry tomato uh, then your guava <coughs> pepo sorry pepo example is cucumber cucurbita falls all fruit hesperidium lemon and oranges so you can easily match option d is the correct answer when a single fruit or a bunch of fruit lets very small fruits develop from many free ovaries of a single fruit now try to understand I, we, I, we we discussed when a single fruit develops from a single ovary of single flower it is called a simple fruit when many fruits develop from many ovaries but of single flower then that fruit is called as what so that is the question and here we have discussed that such a fruit is called as aggregate fruit so b is the option why because uh, there are many ovaries and from each ovary uh, one fruit can be formed so if there are two ovaries two fr fruits will form three ovaries three fruits will form from a single flower from a single flower sometimes these fruits are coalesced together they become uh, they appear They they are fused in such a way they become fleshy and they are crowded on the on the thalamus uh, and they become uh, so crowded and fleshy that it appears uh, that they, that is a single fruit and the example is custard apple a type of berries in case of custard apple there are many small fruitlets very small fruits are being developing from a single flower from many carpels polycarpillary apocarpus. polycarpillary means there are many carpels apocarpals apocarpus means all the carpels are free so there are many ovaries and from each ovary many small fruitlets are formed they are fused together they are coalesced together and they give the appearance of a single fruit so single custard apple is actually the bunch of fruits it is an aggregate of fruit and that aggregate is called as iterio it is called as iterio of fruit so b is the option here when the number of fruit fruits or fruitlets developing from a single flower corresponds to the number of carpels as the number of fruits is equivalent to the number of carpels or number of ovaries in a fruit then that fruit is of course it is called as aggregate that we are discussing we are discussing just now so b is the correct answer the aggregate fruits develop from the pistil of a single flower that is okay the aggregate fruits develop from the pistil of a single flower okay so this is the question what type of pistil what type of gynoecium of a single single flower so aggregate fruits develop from a single flower which consists of gynoecium or pistil which is what type it is monocarpillary or polycarpillary apocarpus syncarpus or what so we have studied simple fruits develop from monocarpillary gynoecium or polycarpillary syncarpus gynoecium but aggregate fruits develop from mono sorry polycarpillary apocarpus pistil polycarpillary apocarpus gynoecium that means many carpels they are not fused and therefore there are a large number of ovaries inside present inside a single flower so b is the correct option here okay in calotropis milkweed and vinca that is uh, your catharanthus roseus calotropis uh, called as rui rui ruti in marathi and vinca uh, sadafuli in marathi 
so in these flowers how many uh, in these plants how many etero follicles type of fruits develop each from a single flower so from a single flower of calotropis how many fruits develop and from a single flower of vinca how many fruits develop so that is the question so see here these are aggregate type of fruits these are etero follicles custard apple is etero of berries calotropis and vinca are etero's of follicles and uh, the here the answer is two because in case of calotropis and vinca the flower consists of gynoecium which is bicarpellar uh, there are two carpels and as there are two carpels and they are apocarpals they are not fused so there are two ovaries each in single flower so um, each ovary forms a single fruit and so there is formation of a pair of fruit two fruits are formed in a single flower so here answer is option b that is the correct answer okay the fruit of custard apple anona squamosa is the botanical name or oh, is just now i told okay so this is called as etero of berries aggregate type of fruit b is the answer when a single fruit develops from all the flowers of a single inflorescence so here a single fruit is developing not from a single flower but from many flowers which are present on a single inflorescence the whole inflorescence the entire inflorescence a single inflorescence is converted into a single fruit then that fruit is <coughs> so, sorry that fruit is called as multiple fruit or composite fruit the fruit developing from the whole inflorescence and the examples as per your syllabus you know examples are sorosis sorosis and asiconus or cyconus type of fruits so c is the answer here which of the following is not a sorosis fruit multiple or composite type of fruit sorosis okay jackfruit is the example of sorosis pineapple is another example of sorosis mulberry is also example of sorosis but ficus or figs uh, this is not example of sorosis this is example of siconus or siconus type of multiple fruit so d is the answer here and you have studied sorosis type of fruit uh, they develop from spadix type of inflorescence so that question can also be asked what type of from what type of inflorescence they develop uh, then which of the following is an edible part of jackfruit a uh, type of sorosis fruit perianth bracts and seeds so all of this so here you see if you see the structure of jackfruit which consists of the central axis of the inflorescence and that is called as uh, rachis and on this on this rachis elongated club shaped structure many flowers are arranged and uh, if you uh, see the rind of the jackfruit it is very spiny and each spine on that rind represents the stigma stigma of the flower so there are many flowers which are arranged inside and all these flowers form a uh, single fruit of the whole inflorescence so that uh, rachis consists of many flowers which are crowded together and in those cases the perianth of the flower as well as the bracts which are surrounding the flowers as well as the seeds of this uh, flower all of these are edible parts in case of jackfruit so d is the answer here uh, which of the following is an edible part of pineapple pineapple fruit multiple or composite type of fruit called as sorosis rachis perianth bracts and all of this in case of jackfruit uh, rachis was not the edible part but in case of pineapple that rachis is also edible part seeds are not edible here seeds are very uh, inconspicuous here in case of pineapple but rachis perianth and bracts all of these are uh, forming edible part of an of, uh, of this pineapple fruit uh, sorosis a fruit multiple or composite type of fruit so fruit so here the answer is option d that is the correct answer the siconus fruit of pig uh, or ficus develops from which of the following inflorescence now usually siconus uh, type of fruits develop from either hypanthodium inflorescence or synanth uh, synanthium inflorescence so here examples are uh, figs and dostenia so fig develops from you can see here fig develops from hypanthodium type of inflorescence whereas that uh, dostenia uh, develop from synanthium type of inflorescence both the figs and dostenia produce the fruit called as siconus so in, uh, here you have studied in case of hypanthodium the uh, stock of inflorescence that is called as uh, rachis 
uh, it becomes a cup shaped uh, structure that is called as a receptacle and that receptacle forms a bag like structure which is completely closed and inside that there are many female uh, flowers uh, that form fruit and uh, that fruit is called as akenes each individual uh, flowers form akin type of fruit so hyperanthrodium sorry cyconos fruit can be called as multiples of akenes so that question can also come the cyconos fruit consist of uh, what of what type of fruit inside individual fruits because each flower is producing fruit and the cyconos is being produced from the entire inflorescence that is called as hyperanthrodium in case of fig it is hyperanthrodium a completely closed bag like structure whereas cynanthium is somewhat open structure that is present in dostenia and that also forms cyconos fruit so cyconos fruit can develop from either hyperanthrodium or cynanthium and the cyconos fruit of fig develops from hyperanthrodium whereas the cyconos fruit of dostenia it develops from cynanthium so here the answer is a option a that is the correct answer so again this is very good book on morphology ganguly das datta college botany and some of the uh, websites also i have referred so thank you again for kindly listening uh, all the best for your paper if you have any question uh, then you can email me you can ask me in the chat box hmm? okay study hard uh, take care be at home and uh, again all the best thank you thank you very much